Hey, today we're talking about using type effects in Canva. This will give your type and your designs a little more of a professional look um, if you follow some of my steps. All right, so I have a template open here. This is a lead magnet template that's part of my brand in a box collection. And I have my title put in here and my subtitle put here. And now when I click on this, I have some options. So I'm just gonna bold this font for now. And then I'm gonna go up to effects on the top bar. And when I click that, I get all of these options here. So while this is selected, I can do any of these options to this text. So let me just show you when you add a shadow, you can change the color of the shadow if you wanted it to be a darker shadow, um, if you wanted it to be a lighter one. Um, you can also play around with the transparency. Um, you know, obviously we wouldn't want it to be like that. So you can play around with the transparency that way. You can change the color by clicking on that box. And I change it to a yellow, but you can't really see the yellow, so I'm gonna bump up the transparency there. All right, and then the direction you can change if you want it to come in from a different angle. And then blur if you want to just soften out the shadow. And then offset, you can offset it, um, whatever you're wanting to do there. So I'm going to change this back to a darker, more of a green color and take the blur out and move the direction a little. Okay, so that's one of the options. And now let's try, let's go back to none. And now let's go to lift. So lift, this is on a dark green background, so it's a little hard to see, but if you turn up the intensity, you can see there's a little bit of a glowing around it. See how it's getting a little darker around it. And when you just step back and look at that, see it popping off the page. It looks more like an ad that you would you know, you would probably see done by a professional. Um, okay, so now let's try the hollow. So there's the hollow. And when I use hollow, I like to change the thickness, like play around with the thickness there. Um, you know, you'll, and then you can change the color up here. So it's this is the main font color. So go up there and play around with some things. Um, you'd want it to stand out enough. So. That might not be the best choice on this design, but that is how you do it. Okay, let's go back to effects again. Let's go back to none. And now if you go to splice, this is one way to create an outline for your font. This is an easy way to do this. So right now it's offset. So, but if we take the offset to zero, you can see that it's just an outline now and now you can you can change the color here. And also what I would suggest doing is changing the thickness. So on that, that seemed a little bit too thick. All right, so there, let's see what happens when we change the color of that. So that's where you can change the color of the outline to whatever works for you. Okay, let's go back to effects. Let's go back to none, just hitting a reset. And echo, that could be fun. You just have to be careful with how uh, dark or light that background is because it's a little bit hard to read. Um, so changing the color to something that's just a little bit darker than the original or the background that it's on because then it seems a little bit um, softer that way. All right, got a couple more. All right, glitch. Might be kind of fun on some designs, probably not this one. This one kind of has a modern clean feel. And then the neon, of course, that could be fun too. Probably not for this one either. And then the background, this one has a lot of different options too. If you wanna have the outline, you can use the roundness, you can go down to just a block around it. Um, or you can do a round and then it can spread out. All right, and then you can change the transparency. 
I think this one is good for um, maybe a graphic for Instagram or Instagram stories or reels. It kind of looks like something that you would type in on Instagram. So that's one reason I like to do use that, but definitely not for this one. So I'm going to go back to original. And then, um, of course, you have the curving font that you can use here. And let me just show you an example of that. So I'm just going to hit the T on my keyboard. So that brought in some text for me. Let me bump it up quite a bit so you can see what I'm doing here. And let me change the color to white so you can see. Okay, so I've got this here and now I'm gonna go back to effects and then I'm gonna hit curve and I can, it curves the font for me. So, and then you can spread it out that way. And you can also spread out the letter spacing like that. And that's one way to do the curve. And then you can always go in and reset it back to none when you're done. All right. So play around with those effects with your type and have a lot of fun. All right. We'll see you next time.